Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to my channel. Hopefully, you're doing great. All right, great as always. Um, but today, guys, I have another house mod. These are probably my favorite mods to do, besides cars. This mod is called Tiny House. I haven't actually played it, so I just installed it to make sure it actually works. And I want to go through it with you guys, so you know we'll have a first impressions of the house. Um, so the first thing I'm assume I'm gonna assume it's a tiny house, right? So that's the name of the mod. It is called Tiny House. I don't know if you guys have might have seen it. Uh, if you have, you know, feel free to check, uh, you know, just, uh, keep around, stay around, uh, I don't know how to talk, um, and, yeah, see what I actually think about this mod, so just so you guys know right off the bat, this is the location of the house, if you guys decide to go with this, pretty simple install too, I don't, uh, see there being too many issues with installation, but in the back, it looks like we have this cool little pool, or, uh, oh, it's actually pretty deep, oh my god, actually, actually deep, <laughs> I, didn't, I thought it was just going to be one of those houses where, you know, it reaches like your knees, but it actually seems like a full-size pool, so no children in this pool. No. Um, can I go through this door? I can. All right. This is actually a really... Hold up. Uh, can I go through... <laughs> oh, there's a bike on the wall. Sorry, I'm not rich. I don't... Sorry. I guess you don't have to be rich to have a, wall, a bike on the wall, right? Anyways. Um, yeah, it looks like you can't go through the... This is a really interesting entrance, though. You, like, the stairs. <laughs> Talk, this is like some, I don't know, some James Bond. I don't know, so, yeah. So I'm gonna go around. Oh, you have a, even have, like, a little thing. What are those things called? Like, the swimmers use a, a board. That's actually pretty cool. Living here, it would be a struggle to get here, though. I... I guess if, if you have a home in the middle of nowhere, you're probably rich to begin with, so getting here is no issue. Uh, let's walk in the back door. This is a pretty nice kitchen, not gonna lie. It's actually really nice. <laughs> and it looks like we are using, is that a bear skin? A bear skin? I don't know. Cool artwork. I'm assuming, oh, this is, imagine having this as your workspace. Holy crap, that is beautiful. <laughs> that is sick. What a view. This is a pretty sick view. I mean, it will be cooler if you're like on top of something watching over, but this is pretty nice. This is sick. It's very naturey. Very naturey, if that's a word. I'm sure you guys know what I'm trying to say. Got the living room space. And oh, you have your room on the second floor. It's like a loft. This is nice. <laughs> I would be afraid of falling over like at night or something. I don't know, but it, it's still cool. I mean, I guess, yeah. Cool little, you know, little closet area. You have your big old bathtub. Oh, your bathtub, like, this is sick. You have your bathtub, your room, your, sh oh, you do have a shower. And everything, literally, like, I'm gonna get out of bed, I'm gonna go shower right here, go back, like, you're, this is pretty cool. <laughs> But I don't know how that would work if you have guests over, you know? I didn't realize I was dropping a lot of frames. So when I'm recording, it, it just sucks up all the, like, the power from my computer. So, but it seems, to, it seems to be doing fine now. All right, so I'm sorry about that, guys, if it was really stuttery and ugly. It looks fine now. But yeah, like I was saying, right, at the top, pretty cool area. You literally have everything within just walking distance, so pretty sick and again that's pretty much I believe that is about all of the house it is tiny <laughs> so I guess it is a tiny house hence the name of the mod tiny house uh, what's in the back oh my gosh this view this is what I, holy crud this is sick this is what I was talking about definitely definitely worth the views oh this is beautiful what's over here can I go down there uh, I don't think so yeah there's really no path I guess you just have to just just risk it and go down. Oh, this is like a little trail there. Never mind. There is a little trail to go down. There you go. It's pretty cool. So that is it, guys. That is the house. That is the tiny house. As that's the name of the mod, right? I guess you. Oh, I need a boat here. Definitely need a boat here. I'm not. Just, I don't. Oh, never mind. It doesn't really take you anymore. It's just like a little like pond, like I don't know what you would call that body of water. Um, but that's pretty much it guys, uh, if you got in this far, make sure you give the video a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'm actually going to show you guys how to actually install the mod now, so I will be right with you guys. Hey guys, welcome back, so this is the mod, it's called, like I said, Tiny House, uh, you can do it for 5 um, I'm not sure what that is, honestly, if you guys know, let me know in the comments, um, and then single player, right, so we did the single player, I don't really mess with 5 them too much, uh, I haven't really gotten too much, but I do want to get into it eventually. Uh, it's actually a pretty relatively new mod, I guess, almost a month. So let's go ahead and click download. As always, guys, I do have Scriptic 5, I do have Scripted.net, OpenIV installed, and yeah, and again, as always, mod at your own risk, right? Download, 
it's 52.8 megabytes in size. I'm going to open this up. And then once you open it up, guys, you should have a little folder uh, folder right here. You're going to hit extract all. Hit extract. All right? Let that extract. And you should get another window. So, again, I'm going to close out the one that's not extracted. I'll close that out. And then here I am. We are just going to be messing with the SP single player. So that's what I have installed. Let's go ahead and install that. So once you open that up, you're going to have a... Mm, I'm not sure. I'm not I'm not going to pronounce that. But you're going to see this folder, right? Once you see that, go ahead and open up. Open IV. All right. So go to the roots. It's probably what you're going to be looking at to begin with. Go to the mods folder. Go to update x64 DLC packs. Again, here is the path that went a little too quick. And then you just want to drag and drop. So, all right, this is the mod. This file, this whole folder into that location. So, any empty white space, it should just drop in there. As you can see, it should probably be at the bottom. There it is. So, there it is. And then you want to go, once you do that, one more step. Pretty simple. Go back to the mods folder. Update. Update RPF. Common data. If I went a little fast, here is the path again at the top. Right? Mods. Update. Update. Update RPF. Common and data. And then you just want to scroll down to you see XML text section DLC list. All right, right click. You need to right click to edit. If you don't right click, if you just double click. You can't edit it, guys. So make sure you right click and then hit edit. And then you make sure you also are in edit mode. And then scroll down, scroll down. Here it is. This is exactly what you want, right? This little path because it's reading that folder. So let's pretend I don't have it, right? you probably don't have it if you if you're trying to install this so I'm just gonna copy any of these really because I just want this format but I don't want to type the whole thing so I'm just gonna copy any of these right click copy and then go to the next empty white line so here and then hit enter uh, this little empty white space shouldn't matter but I'm gonna paste just like that delete what's in between the two dashes just like that and then you want to type in the name of this folder without having to type in the whole thing I'm just gonna right click uh, on the folder right and then hit rename and it should highlight the whole thing as you can see here so right click and then copy go back to this window and then now you can paste it without having to you know debate if it's you typed it incorrectly or not so that's it hit save and then I can't save it because I have the game open but make sure your game is closed you shouldn't have an issue whatsoever so that is pretty much how you install the mod guys I showed you guys the location of the mod the house hopefully you guys enjoyed this video let me know what you guys think in the comment section below and i will uh, i'll be with you guys in the next video all right take care